morning. Welcome this morning to prayers that light our path. This morning I want to read a verse from Revelations, Revelation 5, verses 1 through 5. And the Bible tells us, Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on a throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven nor on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or to look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the line of the tribes of Judea, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. You know, I asked the question this morning, When was the last time that you wept? When was the last time that your heart was broken? Has it been a while? If it has, maybe it's because you've not been asked the right question. Maybe it's because you are a casual observer rather than being fully engaged with Jesus. Tears, my friends, are part of the walk with Christ. For many of us, we just want to be self-contained. We don't want to let anybody or any, any person in on what we're feeling. We want to appear as though we have it all together rather than to put ourselves in that very vulnerable position and let others see our weeping and our brokenness. This passage from Revelation this morning makes it very clear. People who, who care are people who weep. Can I tell you that we need tears? The church has been missing something today and that is brokenness and tears. When was the last time you wept? When was the last time you wept over the lost condition of someone or the brokenness in someone's life? If it's been a long time or if you can't even remember the last time you wept, I pray that the Holy Spirit would do work in you right now, today. I pray the Holy Spirit will soften your soul and break your heart for what bleeds and what breaks the Lord's heart. Tears are part of our walk with Jesus. Jesus wasn't afraid to weep, therefore we shouldn't be afraid to cry either. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, be with us this morning as we contemplate these words from Revelation. As we, as we mourn the brokenness in our, in our community, as we mourn the sickness, as we mourn the evil in our community, Father, let us be able to weep and express those emotions of concern because we know, Father, that without you, everything would be different because we know the Bible tells us that with you, everything is possible. Father, give us the strength to be able to show our outward emotion, to show our love, to show our forgiveness. Let us walk in such a life that glorifies you in everything that we do. And Father, when that comes to brokenness and heartache, give us the courage to cry. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you be with everyone this morning who is sick, those who are in the hospital, those loved ones who, who are being treated for various reasons. Father, wrap your arms around them. Show them your love. Father, as your other children, we weep for them. We weep for them. Father, we thank you for the blessings that you give to us every day. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to express our emotions and to lay those concerns at the foot of your cross. We love you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. My friends, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to show other, others your emotions. Don't be afraid to weep when, when, when you need to cry. It's okay. It's okay. Because the Bible tells us that even Jesus wept. I hope you have a wonderful, glorious, and happy day. And always remember, God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. Have a great, glorious, and wonderful day.